Who's this? Chad Johnson, he always eats McDonald's and he's doing yeah. it while he's working out right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you can do that. Yeah. It's all in how much you exercise. <laughs> now, that's not <laughs> all he eats. No, not Let's all, go, he, Chad. Obviously, Hello, Chad. he's eating healthy food on right. top of that. Yeah. But if he feels like fucking off and getting a Big Mac, he can do that. And there's no no performance benefit right. or no, no penalty. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. So when Floyd does that, he is doing that. Yeah. He really is eating that nonsense. Is Chad still working out? Yeah. <clears throat> he what loves does he it. Do? It's just for check yeah. exercise, just he for fun. He fucking loves it. Twenty-two well. miles an hour. It's his day. comedy. What does he do with this himself is, these days? So what he'll do is, I mean, he'll like play guys in, he'll like play guys in FIFA online. He's a great follow on Twitter. It's hilarious. Oh yeah, I follow him. It's like yeah. he'll, like a girl will post a picture and then he'll say what's wrong with the picture. <laughs> like she'll be smoking hot and be like, yeah, but your shades are thirty dollars. Like, you know, don't put so much money into your outfit when the blinds in your house are $30 like he'll just nitpick little <laughs> things like dude he's hilarious but his um my guesstimation is um this is his comedy like remember you saying mm, yeah yeah he lo he used to sleep at the arena or at least at, at the stadium he when he played he was obsessed with it he loved the sport he was talking about fighting Anderson Silva at one time. No, no, no. He's crazy. He's yeah. Crazy. No, he, he was talking about crazy. fighting Best football player confidence, Anderson though, like, when he was in his prime. No, 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 but no, no, I think no, no. he has martial arts skill, though. I'm not he bullshitting. Used to box. Yeah. A nice little southpaw, actually. He's got Let great frame for it. Let's see if you find him hitting the pads or hitting the bag. Yeah. Because I, I think he has real martial arts skill, like legit martial arts skill. Well, that's the question. It's like, when are these elite athletes going to enter MMA? Damn. Well, they are, but in small Who's in the small first? numbers. Well, John Jones is absolutely an elite athlete. But he's got a 20-inch vertical. Uh, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> how elite? He, he's got small calves. But the fact that he has those small calves allows him to be six foot four and 205 pounds. Right. You're saying See, if he was bottom heavy, he'd be 250. Yeah, he'd right. be a different weight, which he could be, by right. the way. He could be uh, a heavyweight. He could bulk up and go up to heavyweight. But he's got like weird calf genetics. His calves are tiny. Right. But the thing is, you don't have to jump that much in MMA, and he can hit you in the face with a flying knee. Right. I mean, but the what he knows how to do and what he can do physically in terms of his wrestling right. and his ability to close the distance and smash guys yeah. and time people, he's an elite athlete. I mean, what, I think he could he could have done that. His, his two brothers play NFL. Here he is. There you go. Here's Chad. Sparring a little bit. But he's in blue, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. Still can't be touched, he says. Well, he's a southpaw. Yeah. So let's see this. Oh, Coach stay Dad. away from Anderson Silva. <laughs> yeah. So he's. Oh, okay. Oh, it's good, good head okay. movement. Okay. Good head movement. Yeah, for sure. I like the way he moves. Hands down, though. Ridiculous. See, the, the dude he's sparring, though, we don't know shit about yeah, him. He's being that guy might be terrible. Yeah. You know, I mean, the guy didn't once try to go to the body. He didn't duck in. You know, when someone's moving their head around like that, just smash their ribs. You go right after just the body. Just go after the arms. Yeah. Hit those arms. That's what they try to do with Floyd, man. Yeah, good luck. They ch yep. Good luck. No flaws in the game. No, That's no the thing. Flaws. It's like no you can't point one thing. Right. It's like we were talking about with Ben Askren, that when a guy is a super elite wrestler, yeah. you think you're going to do something, but he knows you think you're going to do something. So he does it. You do what you were going to do. He anticipates what you're going to do. He has an answer to that. Yeah. And then you have to regroup, and he's already moving on to step three. Like There's too many steps that he's ahead of you. Can there be a guy like with him that you don't engage on the ground, like you just kind of jab, stay on the outside? Right. Does stay a on the outside like exist style in MMA? Well, yeah, for sure. Look, Robbie Lawler uh, almost took... Ben Askren out in his last fight, and if yeah, it wasn't for it. Ben's mental toughness and his yeah. ability to endure punishment, most guys would have probably gone unconscious there. Yeah, but Stylebender, like a guy like Stylebender, would be one of the worst fucking nightmares for a guy like Ben Askren because right. he's super difficult to take down. And on the feet, he's not going to do anything stupid. Right, you're going to move forward and try to grab a hold of Bang. him, and yeah. you're just going to eat knuckle sandwich after yep. knuckle sandwich, and he's going to slowly chop at your legs. Whack. Yeah. And you're going to feel that low calf kick. Whack. You're going to feel the inside of your thigh. Shit. Yeah. You're going to try to walk off the pain. You'll switch stances because it starts to hurt. Whack. You yeah. recognize you switching stances. He attacks the other leg. Now both your legs are fucked up. Yeah. And he, he, he comes down the middle with a knee to the solar plexus. Now oh. you're hurting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to play yeah. it off. <laughs> it's just a matter of.
doing his game in his in Stylebender's game. His game is keep the fight standing. Right. Fuck you up. And then Ben Askren's it's grab a hold of you. Fuck you up. Right. Drag you to the ground. Fuck you up. It's a matter of like who who's better at the weak aspect of the other person's game. Right. Yeah. Yeah, how can I take advantage? Yeah, it's so crazy. And no one could be the best at everything. So some, like MMA math is a notoriously difficult thing to do. Like say say if, uh, if Jamie beats me, but I beat you, yeah. but you beat Jamie. Yeah. Like that happens. But that's what that's the, MMA math. It's right. crazy. But we always say that with like, you know, styles, styles make, make fights. fights. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. But it doesn't work with Floyd. See, in boxing... <laughs> That styles make fights only goes so far. With MMA, it's it's because the sport's more comprehensive, because there's more skills, there's more different things happening. It's football compared to basketball. Maybe right? it's like there's more there's more tools that can be used in here that yeah. can offset what's going on. Yeah. Whereas basketball, the Warriors are gonna beat any team four out of seven games. Mm. It, that's just gonna happen. I don't know shit about basketball or football, so I'm just guessing. You could be a superstar. Like, there's no one position in football <laughs> that can change the game. Mm. There's what about so the quarterback? many. Yeah. Eh. Huh? I think a quarterback is overrated. And mm. to be honest with you, I think the most important position is offensive, defensive line. Well, I'm always amazed at Tom Brady's body. How regular it is. Super regular. Super regs. Super regular. But they know? get it. That whole that team gets it. They like. Like I think Tom Brady's like fifteenth highest paid quarterback in the league. It's like right, but if you look at a, a elite athlete's body, right, I want to see a dude who's built like Kamaru Usman, yes, the UFC welterweight champion. Yeah, that's an elite. At you look at him and you go, oh, Brady's yeah. not an elite athlete. Looks like a UFC champion. He's not an elite yeah. athlete. When you hit, well, greatest quarterback of all time. Whoa, Isn't can't that crazy? wait to see this guy without a shirt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what does he look like? <laughs> Your and father. You're like, that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he looks like? A Tom. He looks like <laughs> Tom Brady. It's exactly a guy what named the Tom fuck Brady. He looks like Hi, he has Tom. his own body. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what makes that guy so special? That's the thing. It's like sometimes, you know, Something's sometimes going the, on. Yeah, he's up here, and I think you know he's got a lot of it up here, and he works hard. It's like, you know, sometimes the greatest aren't Pull the up great. A picture of him next to Kamaru Usman. <laughs> no, you, you know, you know what it is. It's like sometimes having all the natural tools is a. To your detriment. There he is. Look at that. Yeah, bro. Come on, son. Simple. Yeah, like a leopard. Yeah, he's ready. Ben yeah, Ben Askren's similar too. Yeah, he's got a little muffins. He's got yeah, a little muffin a little on bit. him. Ben Askren's got even worse. Pull up a picture of Ben Why doesn't he ben come Askren. down and wait, Ben Askren? Because he doesn't want to. And he's got it like that? I don't right. give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's, He feels like he's so much better as a wrestler that everybody else is fucked. Give, give me an image. Yeah, of go to ben. like his abdomen. Yeah, look at that. I mean, he's got abs. He's got obviously, hips. Underneath that, uh, that's from one FC. He looks even worse now. Yet winning. Yeah, there he goes. I mean, that is not that's what Tom Brady, man. The ideal male combat body. You would think that's not what the ideal combat body looks like. But he'll fuck shit up. Yeah, there's a picture of him with Kamaru Usman there, but he's got a shirt on. Yeah, Usman is insane. Lucky, lucky for him. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh, this is just some guys that, like, okay, Francis Ngannou is a perfect example. Yeah. Some guys look like a destroyer. Yeah. They just look like a destroyer. Yeah. Ngannou is, like, 6'5", 200, he's maybe more than 6'5". Sometimes maybe six, those guys, six. like I think you were saying it earlier about the about the uh, jujitsu, right? Like, And it's not just in, in this, it's in anything. It's like sometimes the guys with all the natural ability, they don't have the the work ethic to be the greatest because it comes so easy. Yeah. You know, it's like like we, we all know comics that are like so funny hanging out mm -hmm. and they're okay on stage. Yep. And it's, I think it's because comedy comes so easy to them. Mm. They don't, hit the gym yeah you know what i mean like maybe it's you need that like jordan almost like sociopathic approach to it you yeah. know where like like we were having this conversation earlier is like huh. like do you think jordan's happy i don't think he's happy remember when he was inducted abducted abducted inducted into the hall of fame bro, i thought you were about to tell me he was an abducted in plain sight and i was like <laughs> bro <laughs> if this guy fucked Jordan too, <laughs> he is the goat. 
<laughs> Do you remember when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and he yeah. was talking about writers? Yeah. He was talking shit about writers. Fuck yeah. He, he wasn't thanking his coaches and his teammates and it's been an amazing ride and I feel so blessed and fortunate. No, he's still like, hey, fuck you. Remember when you said that? Fuck you. 1993, <laughs> your Sports <laughs> Illustrated issue. You said my shoes look shitty. Yeah, well... He but he that's a, his furnace, right? Yes, like yeah. some people have some people need that as a furnace. Like they need that that competitive drive, you know? Mm -hmm. And like I feel like I feel like that happens when you don't derive joy from what you do. You know? Like you derive joy from the outcome. You're you're obsessed with outcome. Hmm. You know, like at least for me, everything before was outcome, right? It was like I'm good if if I get a special, I'm good if right. I'm doing these things or I'm good if I kill. And the second I, I was stripped of the opportunity to do those things, I actually found like I loved creating more. And then whatever the outcome was, was extra. Mm. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. So I think it's a happier path. I think so too. But I don't know if it's the path to greatness as yeah. much as the path of the psychopath. Especially when it comes to competitive sports. Hundred percent. Something about the best athletes, they all miserable. Have, they they have a fucking self loathing. Mm -hmm. They and they also have an ego yep. and they have this this anger towards yeah. the competition. Yeah. Like if you beat them, they they would say that if you beat Jordan at a game of pool, yeah, pool. anything, fucking hate you for We're two playing months. again. Yeah. But yeah. he needs it, right? Yeah. It's because yeah, yeah. he's he operates on I'm not good enough. And if I beat you, then he goes, all right, I was good enough. I don't even know if it's that he thinks he's not good enough. Is that he knows he can get you. Don't quit, motherfucker. I'm going to get you. But I'm why does he need to get, get you? you? I don't know. He needs to because it's like mm. he needs to confirm something. Maybe. Right? I need to confirm. It's constant confirmation. Yeah. I need to confirm, confirm. on that. Great. Yeah. Confirm, confirm. Where It's, it's like, not that he doesn't believe he's great. It's that he wants to confirm it constantly. He, it's, it's There's a little shadow of a doubt. Yeah. He's like, I'm great. I'm great. He's walking around. I'm great. And there's a little voice in his head that's going, hey, you might not be that great. How about when he played baseball? That motherfucker wanted to prove. Yeah. You know the hardest thing in sports hitting a baseball? Yeah. It's the hardest fucking thing. And he just jumped from basketball to baseball and was, people act like he was trash. He wasn't even that bad. He hit like 250. No, 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 no. The that, baseball card I'm looking at says he was 302. No, no, that maybe one But it game. might be for, That's for no, no, no. 185 was, out of 615 at-bats. Bro, we're what talking game, about the hardest thing in sports is hitting a fucking baseball. Mm. The fact that he, I mean, there's a bunch of rumors on why he even went into baseball right. in the first place. But, like, that's it's that psychopathic it was a gambling mentality. gambling thing, right? That's Some the rumors. people say it's gambling. Yeah. Some people say... You know, there's yeah. there's a bunch of different things. Bunch I don't want to you know put out there because I don't know, but like, it's one of those. I think there is a balance, man. I think that you could. I think if you truly love what you do, like if you love the creative aspect, and then you have high standards for yourself, then you can achieve both. Yeah, I think that achieving quote unquote greatness, um, and living with misery, I don't think that's worth it. No. I don't think that's worth it for you. It's like, you got one shot at this, man. Like, this this life, man. Like, you got one shot at it. Try to figure it the fuck out. And it takes time to figure the fuck out. But and it's one of those things you can't even really explain to people. But if you can... I'm approaching this point in my life where, like, yeah, I think I, I get it. 